Hi, I'm Candy Cooper, your host, and joining me this season is my good friend, mom, and homeschooler, Katie Hacker. Watch for her later this show. Our theme this season is the artist in you, and today's show is all about texture. Texture is the feel or shape of a surface or thing. It's the smoothness or roughness, or maybe how soft or hard. We start out with these Paleolithic cave paintings inspired by the real ones in the south of France. The surface is made rough by sand. And if you take a look, I'm actually coloring right on top of the sand. It's really cool. So let's see what we need to make these. You'll need a tri-fold foam core board, some oil pastels, acrylic paint, a special kind of spongy tool that we're gonna put the paint on with, some sand, and some glue. And I think we're ready to roll up our sleeves and get started painting. So I'm gonna open my board, and I've already have some paint, acrylic paint on my palette, and all I'm gonna do is use this texture, or the sponge tool. I'm so excited about texture. And I'm just gonna get some paint on this tool and kind of blot it off. And what we're trying to do with this is create the walls of a cave. So it's okay if when I spounce up and down with this spongy tool, if I have a little bit of texture because we're trying to make it look like stone. So you would just keep spouncing with this um, sponge tool and try to keep your colors blended as you go and cover the entire thing. And I have one that I've already been working on. Right here. Okay, so you can see I'm evenly covered. The next thing we're gonna do is add that sandy surface. So to do this, you can do um, cover the whole board in sand, or you can cover uh, different sections. So to do that, you're just gonna squirt some glue onto your board. And then I like to use a foam brush to kind of just brush it out. And you've probably done the same technique with some glitter once upon a time. I know we've done it on the show. But you're just gonna brush this on and then sprinkle the sand onto your surface. And then you'll wanna tap it off back in the bowl and save that extra sand for later. Let's see if I can turn it around so you can see. It's kinda handy with the creases in the board like that. And make sure you get rid of the sand, but you can see that's gonna add even more to my stone-like surface. So I have one that I've covered um, in different sections. And then I went ahead and started working on my Paleolithic drawings. And I just used a pencil to kind of mark out my shapes, like I want some cattle, and I wanna add some trees down here. And these can be really simple drawings. You don't have to get fancy. And let's see, I've got a little bit of blue in here to add some um, depth. And I think this is a good start. So if you're kind of nervous or you're curious how this is gonna go, try doing the sky first because the sky doesn't have, it's no rules to shapes or forms. So just go ahead and look at the texture that shows up when you color on top of the sand. And oil pastels are really cool because they go on top of so many different surfaces, like so. And then you'd probably wanna add some other colors. Let's pretend this is kind of at sunset. And we just keep blending them together. And it's okay if a little bit of your sand comes off. I think we need a little bit of yellow at the top. And you wanna overlap your colors and just keep building up your layers. And if you get crumbs, just tap them off later or you can do it now. Kind of brush them away. And you would just keep filling in that space. Then, let's say you wanna do some um, cattle. Let's come down here and we're gonna use that oval shape as the body. This is a simple way. And you can use the same shapes that I'm gonna show you for this cattle, steer animal, um, for dogs or horses or whatever. But you just kind of want to go over it lightly at first to get your basic shape. And now we need some feet and legs. 
And I'm just kind of making mine really simple, just almost like triangle legs right there to go with my oval. Now we need a triangle shape for the neck, and then we're gonna go over the top with an oval shape head, and, our, and we need a little bit of a tail there. And some horns, but I'm gonna make the horns in a lighter color. And even though that's kind of blending in with my surface, that's okay because people way back when didn't have a huge amount of colors to use. And we need a little bit of sh shading, right? So on the belly, it's gonna be a little bit darker. And behind the legs. And we need to repeat for all the legs so everything looks the same. And then back here and maybe just a little up here but I need to fill in the rest of his face. And let's get the rest of his body. And I think a little bit of black even at the lowest point. Look at that. Now it's starting to show up. And it's a good idea. You can kind of smooth out some of the colors with your finger too, to make them not look so harsh. And back here. And then let's move over here. And if you wanna add a tree, you can. Just really simple, look at the branches that can come off. And how about some mountains? We'll do the mountains in gray. And you just keep doing this so that you covered your entire board with these really simple cave paintings. Let's take a look at the finished one. You remember our sunset? The landscape is showing up, and I love how the trifold board almost makes it look like a cave.